What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator. Here we are in Brownsfield, Texas, going up to I'll tell you as soon as we pick it up here. Dalhart, Texas, to the General Mills. So I'll show you guys here on the map real quick. Uh, I believe it's just we got to go through Lubbock and Plainview, Amarillo, Dumas, and then get on the 87 and go towards Dalhart. So yeah, that's what we're doing right now. I'll get into why I haven't recorded for a couple days here in a second. Once we get uh, back on the road and uh, doing everything that we normally do. Okay, that volume is too low. It's still kind of low. So how many pounds is this? 41,000 pounds of grain. Isn't that much? Well, it is kind of a lot, but for this truck, it seems to do pretty well. I like this truck. I've been trying to get a car carrier. I downloaded the mod, but I just can't seem to find it. It might be in the Volvo dealership. I haven't discovered a Volvo dealership in this coast-to-coast uh, -coast, uh, profile that I have, which you think I would have, but yeah, I have millions of billions of dollars, but I just don't have uh, any of the dealerships, or I only have four garages, and a Kenworth and a Peterbilt. The Peterbilt's in San Diego, and the Kenworth dealerships uh, here. In, I believe it's in New Mexico, actually, in Las Cruces. It's gonna go. These guys are actually coming. Well, I probably could have went, but Can't see what their speed is. 65. I didn't want to jump in front of them. Get off the phone, woman! Gosh. Grinding the gears. Alright, so I've been, uh, I've been pretty busy with my dog lately. I didn't think my dog would be, I didn't think I'd be such a, a dog person uh, that I am right now, but um, I've been taking care of my dog a lot more. Um, it is very cold outside, well, it's not super cold, but most people I know keep their dogs inside. My dog right now is during the day, he's a outside dog, and then once it becomes once it becomes time to uh, once it becomes time to go to sleep, I bring him in indoors. Uh, and that could be anywhere from, not really time to go to sleep, but, uh, like 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, or Daylight Time, or whatever it is. I think, I believe it's changing next year to, we're not changing times at all, so that's good, but I'm tired of changing times back and forth. I mean, it's good for summertime. I mean, I believe that's what we're going to stick to, summertime, and not do the... Get dark or it gets dark early in time. It's, yeah, it doesn't work anymore. But, um, so I've been more of a dog person trying to take care of my dog and, uh, do all that. Let me check up here. I don't think there's any more Volvo. I think all the Volvo dealerships are, like, 
the all the old ones. Um, and what I mean by all the old ones are not old ones, but I believe there's there uh like there's one in Tucson, there's one in Vegas, and there's one in either in Sacra- San Francisco or Sacramento. I don't know if there's any over here though, like where we're going, where we're headed to. There's a lot more dealerships, but I don't know who they are. They could just be Kenworths and um and whatever you call it. I could do that on my off time to get a I want to get a the new Volvo, not the new, yeah, the latest 2019 VNR or the VNL is what I'm trying to get and see if any of my other trucks that I've been trying to get spawn or to get them working, they're not working right now and uh, they're not coming out of Peterville or Kenworth, so they might be in, in the Volvo dealerships, I just don't have them. So the other day I was, probably a, two weeks ago, I was half asleep, no not even two weeks ago, two days ago, two days ago I was, uh, I was half, oh, way high over here, or way too low over here, uh, two days ago I slept until like 9 p.m. For me lately, that's been the norm. Sleeping like a vampire. Um, so I woke up really late, and I smelled a skunk really close. Like I'm talking like it was like in my backyard or even closer. Like my backyard's pretty big, but. It was either, like, in my backyard or, like, right next to my door. Because the smell, I mean, the door was closed and everything. But, man, it, it was, I mean, it, everybody knows what skunk smells like, I'm assuming. It was just a horrible. I mean, it wasn't like you pass one on, like, a road or, or you can smell one from a distance. No, this was, like, super close. Um, and so since I was half asleep and my dog was at my door waiting waiting to come in because I normally get him in like three hours prior I worried that he was uh, sprayed by a skunk so keep in mind I'm still half asleep so that will weigh into the next couple of things I say um, so I'm half asleep like obviously I, I bring my dog in and I smell him like before he comes in and I'm like I'm like smelling him I'm like literally like putting my nose on him like I do uh, and since the stench is just so bad I assume that he's been sprayed and my immediate thought was cause, and then once he came in he didn't you know once I let him go he wouldn't like he wouldn't let me get him again so he ran around my house like this is the turning lane it's not just turning from this lane so that's yeah so he gets out of my arms and he runs I have carpet in my bedroom he runs into the carpet and he starts rubbing his body on the ground, which is abnormal to me, because he doesn't normally do that unless, um, unless it's like hot outside or something. You do it, dude. Okay, fine. Um, here we go. As I try to tell a story, just can't shift gears. Um. So I'm assuming he gets, he got, I'm assuming he got sprayed, and I know this is a super extended long version of this or I started it like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> so I assume he got sprayed because he's rubbing all over the place. Hey, there's a glitch, uh, or like something's going on right there. Let's see through the bridge. 
whatever. Um, I assume he got sprayed. I'm worried about it. And I'm, so I just grab him and I take him into the bathroom and I mix a solution of what uh, I've read on the internet of how to get rid of uh, skunk spray, baking soda, hydrogen peroxide 2%, and, uh, two, and dish soap, I believe. A little bit of dish soap. Mix that together, rub it on him, let it stand for about, it says five minutes, I let it stand for about ten minutes. Um, spray, got it off of him. Uh, and then I gave him a normal bath, like 15 minutes, no, uh, like 20 minutes later. Before he got completely dried up again, I gave him a normal bath. And so, as I'm trying to, like, smell him to see if I can smell a skunk on him, I don't smell a skunk on him. But since the odor is right outside my door, I'm freaking out, like, okay, this is really weird, like, either I'm, I've come because this has been about almost 45 minutes, almost an hour of me being in contact with the dog, I'm assuming that my nose has become accustomed to the smell, and that, and that's the only thing I'm smelling, because you know when you, when you smell something after an hour, maybe less time, when you stop trying, I mean, I didn't even try to barf or anything, I didn't even have to like vomit or anything but I was a little nauseous because the smell was so close but I became accustomed to the smell or that's what I thought because I couldn't smell it anymore so I clean him off and I make sure he's dry I keep him indoors I put a potty pad down in case he has to go to the bathroom he's going to go inside I'm not going to let him outside so then I had him indoors obviously all night long and I had him, you know, I kept smelling him, and I kept walking around smelling. I couldn't smell the skunk. I mean, like I said, the, the stench went, I mean, I didn't say this, but the stench was outside my door for like, I don't know, 68, 75. It feels like I'm going a lot faster with this truck, just because it's older, but, uh, yeah. So, since the odor is still there outside, I can't tell what I'm smelling anymore, and so the next day, about, I guess, yeah, the next day, about eight hours later, around six in the morning, the sun started to come up, and I had been awake the whole time, he, he went to sleep for a little bit, and I started to think about it, maybe the scent, maybe the skunk just sprayed somewhere around, uh, near my house, obviously. But maybe the dog, you know, almost like me, um, waking up to the smell of it. I thought my door was open, but it wasn't. But, you know, maybe the dog, uh, being, you know, within the, you know, how the dog's nose, he can smell a lot better. You know, maybe he thought he was sprayed and... And that's the first thing he did was rub himself on the carpet because he thought he was sprayed. Or maybe he thought he got it on him. Something like that. Because my house is surrounded in a fence. And skunks don't normally climb. They could climb wire mesh and fences that are like two feet, three feet. But mine's like a seven foot fence. So there's no way it would have I mean, got into the backyard. So I don't know. I don't know what happened. Like I said, I was half asleep, and all I know is I thought my dog got sprayed, but in reality, the next morning, the smell started to go away. It took quite a long time for the smell to go away, plus the heater was on, so it was pulling air from... Let's just go do it. It was pulling air from the outside in, and, you know, I just... I couldn't tell what was going on by that point. I didn't know if, like... I couldn't tell where the smell was coming from. So basically, uh, all day yesterday I was spraying. I mixed a, after the dog went outside again, I mixed, I smelled the dog once, you know, I went out to get some fresh air in the front yard. And I came back into my room and I could smell it. I could smell skunk. And I was like, okay, 
I don't know what happened. I still don't know what happened. Um, but I know it's not. I know it didn't. I know the my dog wasn't sprayed by a skunk. I know this is a super long, drawn-out story, but that's how I am. When, unless I'm on the freeway, I can't tell the story until I get on the freeway with the lights and all the stuff. And it just, yeah, I get distracted. I apologize, but you guys know me by now, I'm assuming. Um... So yeah, uh, the dog didn't smell like skunk anymore after that. I'm assuming that if I had washed him, even if I had washed him, um, oh, what's going on up here? Oh, it's a, uh, it's a detour. We're taking a detour. It's one of the uh, new 1.33 deals where. If you saw back there, our map got changed because a plane, I don't know, crashed. That plane crash, is, I still can't figure that out. But um, I have to look at my map to see where, how. Okay, so we're not going to be thrown off that much. It was just taking us from here to here. Basically, we just go straight. So that's good for us. But that's a new, that's the new, or in the latest game, that's what they're doing. They're detour. They're detouring us. Um, so it's cool for some things, but I don't know. Got off my story. Well, my story is pretty much already over by now. So there was nothing left on him. There was not, no spray left on him. I don't think he actually got sprayed in the end. Um, I think it was just me being half asleep and thinking that he did get sprayed, but in reality, he, it was just so close. It was just probably right outside the door or near my my uh, air conditioning unit when the, heat, when, the, when the heater turns on, it just sucks in the air. Uh, because at one point I thought I had it on me, but in reality I wasn't able to, I was, I was sleeping the entire time, so, so that's what happened, I mean, that was only the last two days, but the prior week, I just like, I've been so tired, I like, I'll wake up, sometimes I eat, sometimes I won't, um, I did go to watch football on Sunday, the Patriots, uh, Patriot game. Stupid Patriots. Cheaters. I mean the refs. That game was horrible as far as officiating. And so was the Rams game. Rams Saints game. It's horrible officiating as well, but yeah. Um I'm just tired of seeing Tom Brady in the Super Bowl. I mean it's like every year. I mean yeah, they Sometimes they're a good team, and I mean, I, I think this year it's officiating with, I mean, bad calls, bad reviews, and just bad all around. But uh, I just, I don't know. Is there another one? Let's see if I can go through this chat. It's probably a bad idea. Okay, yeah. I don't know what's causing that. It has to be a mod of some sort, but I don't know what mod would make planes show up and be part of a crack. It doesn't make any sense to me. Um, hey, there's a garage up here. Nice. Let me look at the map again real quick. Sorry about that, guys, but let's see if there's a... I was thinking that I saw this and I thought maybe there was a... Uh, you know, one of the dealerships. Uh, their dealership. No, the store. This is the dealership up here. In Liberal. Never heard of it, but it's in. What state is this? Bend. Kansas? Is that Kansas? I don't know. Yeah. 
we're just going to have to go. Uh, I might go up to the 80, actually. Is the 80? Yeah, the 80 is where the... I believe the 80. Is it the 80? That has... Yeah, Iowa 80. This one. I mean, I don't think it's anything but what we've seen before, but... I don't know. Last time we went by it, it was pretty cool. Um... So yeah, other than going and watch football, after I watch football, I'm extremely tired. I don't have a loan installment. I have billions of dollars. Interesting. Um, I don't know why I have a loan. But anyways, um... And then I tried a few different mods for some newer trucks. There's like this fantasy truck that came out, Flight of Fantasy or something like that. That wouldn't work. And uh, like I said, the Volvo trucks. A couple. Uh, Viper 2 came out with another uh, Peterbilt mod lately. It's the same version. I don't know why it's new. I was just going to went straight in the left instead of this way. But whatever. I take the long round. I was too busy looking at the map looking for the dealership. And seeing what that garage is about. This field of it. Where you take a really long trip. But yeah, I'll like, I'll wake up, right on the curb, on the curb, on the curb. I'll wake up, I'll either eat something, I'll check my sugar, make sure it's fine, and then bam, I go right back to sleep. I just have no, like, really want, not a want, I do want to play games, I just have no, like, I don't have the energy, excuse me, I don't have the energy for it. So I just end up going to sleep and... But I was fit. I end up just waking up, checking my sugar, sometimes eating, and then going right back to sleep. My dog hates it because he wants to play, so I'll either wake up to him, like, licking my face or something, but... Hey, I want one of those. I want a single cab Volvo, like a like a day cab. I've driven with uh, sleepers for so long that sometimes it's nice to switch it up. And like I said, I've been trying to switch it up with new mods and uh, different trucks. Because I have so many different trucks, but uh, well, the game has the game only has a few different trucks. But now that they have acquired Volvo. Uh, and they've only acquired certain, uh, certain models. There's other Volvos that I that people are making that I want to play with, and I'm not able to play with because for some reason. Well, maybe it's just this profile because the coast to coast map and everything else that's going on on this map. I don't remember if I had the problem with the fighter jets being a part of accidents in the other profile. So I'll have to. Google that in my free time and find out what's going on with that. And if it's something that I can figure out uh, through the forums or through mod sites or something like that, then I'll I'll fix it. But if it's if nobody else can help me out, then I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Get off the phone, woman! And they came out, they just came out with another, uh, Mega Pack, or, uh, S-I-S-L Pack, which is basically, which is basically just the, um, how we get the girl and the air freshener and the CD radio and all that stuff, um, 
say that like this W900, uh, the single cap, uh, even one of those would be fine. I just don't like how the, the nose is so long. Or well, maybe I'll go back to driving the wrecker. That's what I had a problem with. Uh, the tow truck. I wanted to, instead of like pulling like just a, a semi, I was trying to pull a, I wanted to pull like a semi with a trailer or just a trailer or something like that, but I, the, the mod wasn't working or uh, something was happening. Beef Durham. Chewing tobacco. Oh, great. been really looking around at cities when I should be. <laughs> I'm gonna see how how this was created. I wish I had the time or the patience to make a mod. That would be all I do is be creating mods all day long. Hey, it's a bunch of buses over there that are blocked. Car wash station. It's a used car dealership. Yeah, uh, I really want to get that. What the heck that was? I really want to get the um, the transporter, the car transporter to work because I found it, but it might be too old to play with the 1.33 version. Is the reason why it's probably not working. I do like the, this truck, but, you know, it's not like back in the day when I had a control, uh, when I had like an Xbox controller, and I was only driving one single cab truck around. I like to experiment with all different types of trucks now, just to see how they drive. I mean, they're, they're whole, people, people would assume that it's the same just because you have a steering wheel and a gear shifter and pedals, but... They are a lot harder to play. I mean, they are a lot different. Like, this truck is very different when it comes to uh, driving. It just, it feels a lot more old. And a lot of people think, ah, oh, it's just your imagination. No, it does actually feel old. Uh, driving it. actually feel it. It actually feels old. Um, compared to a newer truck, they're a lot more smoother as for like turning and doing a bunch of stuff like that. Can't really do that thing I want to do, but because these boxes are in the way. Or maybe I can go going backwards or something. have a, this is a triple axle trailer. I'm trying to see if I can see where it's at without, you can kind of see where it's at, it probably, I was thinking of doing it blindly by turning around, just because I'd have a little bit more to work with, I don't know what's be able to do that actually. I'd rather do it blindly than have a problem with all these containers.
about these cement barriers are going to be in the way, but I might have a little bit to work with. our flashers for one episode. I was trying to get the uh, the T660 to work. Again. Yeah, we're way off. it off, hit T. Oh, and we gotta use our trailers again. That's what I forget to keep doing. Excellent, 178 miles, 4 hours, 29 minutes, 40.4 gallons consumed. $9,474 or 327 XP. What happened to all the money we used to get? And let's see what kind of loan we got. Unless the loan is the billions of dollars. No. How much? Oh, I was like, why do I have loans out? Maybe when I first, when I started this profile without the stuff, I don't know. We could drive the FLB truck. Um, I don't think I have one. We just have FLDs. I made two of them because I didn't know I already had one. Three seventy nine, three eighty nine. I don't know if that. Okay, that one's still working. And then the W900 in case everything goes to hell. Alrighty, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my long whole run-on story of skunks and not sleeping a lot. But that's what I have been doing lately. I'm, or I've been oversleeping and dealing with the skunk. So, hope that didn't annoy you guys too much by my long run-on story. But I apologize. And I'll promise not to do that in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Take care. Have a good one. Peace out.